This is part 10 of C-Sharp interview questions video series. In this video, we'll answer this interview question. What happens if finally block throws an exception? This interview question can also be asked in a slightly different way. How to handle exceptions that occur in finally block? So, what actually happens if finally block throws an exception? Three things happen. One, the exception propagates up and should be handled at a higher level. If the exception is not handled at the higher level, then the application crashes with the exception that has occurred. Let's understand this with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have a console application. Let's include another method here. Let's call this hello. And let's include a try block, a catch block, and a finally block. And within this finally block, let's write some code that would cause an exception to occur. Let's try to convert this string to an integer. Obviously, runtime will not be able to convert this string to an integer. We will have a format exception. Now, let's call this hello method within main method. All right. Notice that at the higher level, that is the place where this hello method is called, we don't have any exception handling mechanism in place. Obviously, when we run this program, the application is going to terminate with the exception that has occurred in the finally block. Now, let's try and include exception handling mechanism at the higher level, that is within the main method where we are actually calling this hello method. So since we are using exception handling mechanism here at the higher level, we have the opportunity to handle the exception that has occurred within the finally block of this hello method. Let's print the exception message to the console. In reality, we, will we may actually log the exception message to an event viewer or to an XML file or to a database table. Let's go ahead and run this. Now look at that. The application doesn't crash. Since we have exception handling mechanism at a higher level, we have the opportunity to handle that exception. So what's the second thing that can happen? The finally block execution stops at the point where the exception is thrown. So, if you look at this finally block, this is where the exception is thrown. Now, let's include a console.write line statement here. So, let's say this line will be executed. So, obviously, this line is present before the exception is occurring. So, obviously, this piece of code will be executed. But at this line, we will have an exception occurring. So obviously, since there is an exception at this line, you know the execution is going to stop at this line. Okay, so this line will not be executed. So let's actually run this. Look at that. We have, you know, this line printed, but this line is not printed. Why is that? Because there is an exception at this point, because of which, you know, the processing is stopped at this line. So the finally block execution stops at the point where the exception is thrown. Three, if the finally block is being executed after an exception has occurred in the try block, and if that exception is not handled, and if the finally block throws an exception, then the original exception that occurred in the try block is lost. Let's understand this with an example. So let's say here we are throwing an exception. Let's call this try block exception. And let's say we don't have this catch block here. And within the finally block, we are throwing another exception. OK. Look at this. Let's go ahead and run this now. So 
we are able to handle the exception that has occurred in the finally block but what about the exception that occurred in the try block look at this there is an exception occurring here okay now we know that irrespective of whether there is an exception or not finally block is going to be um, executed you know it's guaranteed to execute now this exception has occurred within the try block and we are not handling that exception within this method and there is another exception happening within the finally block. And as a result, the original exception that has occurred in the try block is lost. Okay? So, if the finally block is being executed after an exception has occurred in the try block, and if that exception is not handled, and if the finally block throws another exception, then the original exception that occurred in the try block is lost. Alright? That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.